Hello, mga kababayan. Pati niyo po kami sa Hero Square sa Hungary. Yay! Mga Pinoy sa Hungary. Hello again and welcome to a Budapest morning and I am now here on the area of the Museum of Ethnography which is a very big recommendation for me from my friend Clemente because he said that this place is very nice even before I told him that I will be going to Budapest he's already been telling me that this place is very nice so far I'm loving it but he said specifically the one near the museum is the best part so let's see and there's a lot of people walking jogging doing sports very nice as much as you can see a lot of trees here this place is truly historic because it is believed that the first trees and walkways were established as early as 1751 and after the public park was created in the decades of the 19th century or 1800s, you will be able to see how it is gonna look like the way it is right now. And it became one of the first public parks in the world. The Museum of Ethnography of Budapest is very important, not just to Hungary or for Europe, but throughout the world because it has a lot of objects coming from Madagascar, Africa, Asia, and even all the way to Oceania. So you're gonna see a lot of culture here. As we saw earlier, the Museum of Ethnography I made sure that I did a close-up shot of the exterior and look how detailed it is. Amazing. It was a very cloudy day while I was there and it is the place where I decided where I will have breakfast. Of course, I brought breakfast already with me and I thought why not enjoy it in the park, right? And there's a lot of people that are going there around. You won't be able to see them on this video how many they are because it's just so vast, the area. But yep, there's a lot of people, but it's not very crowded, which makes it very, very peaceful and a perfect place to stay on a Sunday. Let's have some croissants here at the park. It's very nice. Okay, I'm not judging people who likes to eat at restaurants and all of that, but number one, I can't afford it. <laughs> and number two, why not here, right? So let's see. I'm gonna show you what I had or what I bought earlier at that croissant shop. It's called Freya. The shop is Freya, and it is a recommendation of my Airbnb lady, Anna. And look at that pano chocla. It's so huge. And also, I have this almond croissant. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. But it looks good, right? So yeah, I'll just enjoy it. Mm. Oh, I'm breaking it. Oh, it's waiting. Okay, it's very sunny and I'm here at the Hero Square at Budapest. It's just unbelievable that there's so many landmarks here and they're not small. They're like, everything is major and it's so beautiful. Like, I mean, can you see that, right? Wow, Budapest. You're so beautiful. Wow. And this is a very big area where there's museums 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 parks 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 all together in just one giant area wow a little bit about the hero square 
it is surrounded by two important buildings in the city park area, which is the Museum of Fine Arts on its left. And also on the right, you will be able to see the Palace of Art. So this structure is a UNESCO heritage site for cultural heritage. And it features the seven chieftains of the Magyars and other important Hungarian national leaders, as well as the memorial stone of the heroes, often referred to as the tomb of the unknown soldier. And a lot of people visit this place just because, of course, it's one of the most famous landmarks of the city. And also, just to enjoy the sun. Hello, mga kababayan! Batiin niyo po kami sa Hero Square sa Hungary! Yay! Mga Pinoy sa Hungary! See you soon in Spain! Pasal kayo doon! Shout out! Pupunta kami sa Spain! Yes! Soon, soon! Very soon! Sana! Pupunta natin ng Europe! Yes! Okay, so now I am in the House of Music here in Hungary, still in the Budapest City Park, and it's very beautiful. As you can see, look at the ceiling. I haven't read about the design of it, uh, at least the symbolism of it, but it's very beautiful. And as you can see, there's a garden below. It's an open space, so the plants can grow freely even with a shade of the above but as you can see there's holes on it that allows light to pass through so that they could have as much natural lighting that they could and also rain of course because it's hollow it's not covered at all it's beautiful it's also here at the city park complex opened during January 2022, still in the city park area. The House of Music Hungary is a unique and complex institution of music and has been the venue of different exhibitions when it comes to music, even the history of music. And there's a lot of different uh, exhibitions that happened here. And also a little bit of trivia about the building. It was designed by a Japanese architect named So Fujimoto. And his design was selected from around 170 international projects. And just look at how detailed the ceiling of the outdoor area is. So I wasn't able to go inside, but you can imagine how beautiful it is just with this exterior. Just sharing you some clips of the metro station uh, that I took from the Hero Square all the way to the place where I will be boarding my bus going back to the airport. And it was an amazing, amazing trip around Budapest. And I am very thankful to all of you for coming with me on each and every episode on this Budapest and Bratislava series for my channel Stevens Q. The five days that I was in these beautiful countries were so much amazing and that is because 
not just of the sights and also the food that I have tasted because all of you are on my mind while I was traveling and I wanted to share everything with everyone. So I hope you had fun in all of the episodes and let's see when we will be back to Budapest. And if I do, of course, you're going to be with me. So thank you and see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.